Hello, hello, and welcome back to Tracks, the train set game. And, um, upon setting up for today's stream, I made a very upsetting discovery. The top into our train. So last time, we spent a large amount of time setting up and decorating our space obstacle course. Why did the train not turn? But we're going back around full loop to get into the obstacle course. Also, the train is going in the wrong direction. Um... Yeah, we spent a lot of time setting up our train obstacle course. Let's let zoom, zoom, zoom through here. Oh, sorry for the motion sickness, everyone. I, th I think it would be really cool if the game was... It's like, they made an update where you could make diagonals so you didn't have to have those wibble wobbles as much. I don't know how easy or hard that would be to code, but I really want it. Okay, here we go. But, so the sad discovery... Our decorations are gone. So apparently, tracks outside the world space stay in existence, but decor disappears. So while the coaster track is still here, all of the space decoration we put we put so much time into putting everywhere is very sadly gone. But is it really gone when we have the YouTube video of it? You can all go back and, you know, watch the process of it getting decorated, see the beautiful setup we did, and, uh, you know, look at the final product. And we even did a run through the track with it fully built, so... It still exists to a capacity, if e even if not in this stream, or in this, uh, world, I mean. So, I'm sad, but I'm okay with it. But let's start off this episode with cr making this hill look a little bit more like a space warp gate. So let's just uh, do... Oops, wrong button. Oh, hey, hang on, it's been a while. Uh, what was the button? Alt. That's the one, there we go. So let's put this here, this here, oh also, hang on, that should be sending them, oh no, yeah, that's supposed to send that direction, I don't know why the train was facing the wrong way. I don't want to block the train by mistake, so let's do this. Now like that, and like that. And then one of these on top, right here, and this is this whole setup we had done in the upper area. Oh, that's cool. I can uh, set the lights to be a specific setup. Uh, there we go, just like that. And there we go. Now it's a, a space warp gate thing. Uh, let's just cover the sides a little bit with some space rocks. We just want it blocked from the perspective of the tracks. And yeah. Uh, and another thing I want to do, I want to put a coal chute in here. Just so that the train here can load up on coal. Uh, but now let's fly on up here. Oh, I forgot we put the little flag up here. What the, oh, I love that's such a cute detail. But yeah, uh, this time, I think I want to up in this mountain range, actually, create a sort of mountain resort situation. Uh, so... I want to start that setup using, uh, the track, or this train station on which the resort will be built around. And I want to use a wedding station for that. I think I want to do it, like, around here. 
tucked into the mountain. And where is the train tracks? All right, so I got to think about how I want to connect this. And there's really two ways. I could make an actual road leading up or I could do tunnels. And I think I'm a very big fan of actual road leading up, specifically using this tunnel here, walling this off more or less, I'm thinking. Or maybe not walling it off, but doing this. Hang on. Um, How do I want to bridge out? We're going to... Why can't I see my reticle? Game? What is going on here? There we go. Uh, let's put a turn signal down, just to make sure nothing goes in this direction by mistake. Oh shoot, I accidentally deleted the turn signal. There we go. Um, I believe if I do, oops, it should smooth itself out, right? Yep. There we go. Uh, oof, hang on. Hmm. I don't know if I'm a fan of doing it in that fashion. Hang on. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Because I want it to be this area is where it starts going up at. Because there's such a, a smooth connection to get there, you know? But I don't want to mess with the setup we have here too much. Oh, that's weird. Hang on, um... Sometimes when exiting that, that's what's ha causing the problems, and that's how I f there's the solution right there. Come on. Sometimes it gets, like, stuck in, like, am I editing a train? What am I doing? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's gotta be that. Or... Yeah, no, I don't have a good way. It, it, that's, that's really the best way. And then lift up. And that's uh, nice, because it actually doesn't even mess with the bench. That's not clipping in, is it? It is. Let's put a new boulder in the place of that one. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong tab. Nature. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking to look at this. Let's remove that rock there, because I don't want... <laughs> derailment to occur. Why am I not hearing much train in the way of train sound? 
Trolley's doing okay. Going up, uh, uh, go, just went downhill a little. Dead train is dead. Cargo train moving around its paths. Passenger train going around its paths. Space train is here for some reason. I'm assuming I made it go too fast. So let's just let the space train go about its day. And if there's something wrong, we'll have to go back and check that. If it is, like, we'll have to keep an ear out for now. Plopped a rock down right there to cover that hole. Plop a rock pile down right here to cover this hole. Hmm. Oops. Delete. Just a little bit of the rock wall here. Yeah, I want to dig into this just enough to, you know, get, keep the thing going good. Uh, let us turn down the grid and the rotation values a little bit so I can get a little more meticulous now. Go put this in here. You know, I was thinking if the live action Avatar, the last Airbender TV show that's coming out, ends up being really good, I would be a hundred percent for a live action Legend of Korra remake because Legend of Korra is the one that needs it more. Because Legend of Korra has so much about it that is. Almost kind of good, but is just so bad in the end with its execution, and it's upsetting that that's the case, you know? Because you don't want you don't want uh, the sequel to a beloved show to actually be bad. You want it to be good. Let's play around with. Let's just clear those rocks, and we'll put new ones in their place in a bit. Making the rocky railroad. Haha. <laughs> Here we go. Clear that. Oop, wrong one. Clear that and that. Clear that and that. Getting a path up here that looks good is going to be a, a, an interesting challenge. Oh my goodness, it just makes it. And 
there we go. That's the path up. And we'll decorate it with rocks and stuff soon. Yeah, this is the start of the mountaintop, uh, like, resort zone that's gonna be tucked in between the mountains. This is great. And then what I want to do is... Yes. Keep this going down like this. Now, do I want it to... I want it to come down over there in the mountain, I think. The plan is we're going to build a whole bunch of stuff around all of this, you know what I mean? To make this railroad uh, feel a little bit more logical in its setup. So, here's a weird little thing. Uh, I recently saw, finally watched the show The Boys, season one. And, man, that show is good. I understand all the hype around it, finally. It's a show that I never watched, so I, like, I had heard a lot of conflicting things, and some people saying it was genius, and some people saying that it was stupid. And that, all the conflict around it was sort of made me hesitate to watch it. But I'm glad I finally watched it because I I think I'm on the side of it's incredibly smart commentary just off of season one. And you can apply it to so many things. It could, to politicians, to celebrity culture, to um uh uh govern or politicians, celebrity culture. There was other commentary that was hitting my head when I was watching it that is escaping me now. Because it was a few days ago that I finished it. But yeah, it's a very good show. I very much enjoyed it. If you're a fan of superhero media, and especially things that critique superhero media, I recommend it. I would honestly put season one. I have not seen anything beyond that, but I would put season one on par with Watchmen in terms of like how good the commentary was on superhero media. Interesting. Adding the turn makes accept the dip better. And let's just bing bang bosh. Oops, we got that connected. Uh, let's put in another turn signaler thingy. And here's what I'm going to do. When you come in this direction, go right through. Does a train not come in this direction? I could have sworn passenger train came through here. Hang on. Passenger train comes out, turns left, follows this line, goes forward, 
turns left into the forest. Left. Goes through. Goes right. Straight ahead. Oh, and then it just was automatically turning. That's what it was. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of this action. Yeah, and then you just go forward through here. When you get to this area. And then it's going to go up through the mountain from this end. All the way through and then back down into the village. And when it gets into the village, it's going to get spit out here. And let's figure out where it's going to choose to go from there. It'll go this, 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 this. Follow this road. Off in this direction. All through the forest here. Turn right. Follow this. Go forward. Hmm. That doesn't seem very interesting because I'm out and now it's missing the entire town. So, yeah, follow, go through this, through this, through this. Turn right. And then here, turn in this direction, which will then take it here. Straight forward, through here, into this tunnel, which warps it back to the forest. At which point it turns left, left, right, left goes through this forest again through here and then it gets sent in this direction through this tunnel where does this tunnel go again off over to here right the lower valley rail Which takes it through here, into this tunnel, which spits it back out over here. Not here, but... Here, right? Yeah. Taking it through here, and then looping it through this. Mmm, hang on. But now it's stuck in a loop with this. So solution here's a, here's a weird little solution give me here we go when you come out there, instead you turn left. And then this will go like this. Right past the area behind there. And connect into there. And the train is never going in that direction, so I don't gotta worry about a sign. Yeah, this track's pretty much going unused for now. Uh, and I'm worried, where is the passenger train? Yep, I thought so. Hang on. Where... What are you stuck on? Well, I guess I got an unintentional test of this track. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, oh no. This overpass is too high or too low. So, hmm. All right. Uh, solution.
Uh, let's reset you. Get you going. There we go. Oh, I like the crazy zigzaggy path going up into the mountains. All right. Let me just think for a second. Sorry, give me a second. Sorry, slight distraction. Hey, so. Yeah, we now got this. Twi I, I like this twisty, crazy mountain path, and we're gonna. So let's start for now. Just... Uh, you know what? We're at 20 minutes, and I'm trying to uh, moderate these episodes a little bit more because I kind of get carried away with just building a mountain of stuff in an episode and then having like an hour long episode. So I think we're going to call this episode Tracks the Transit Game he there with this built. So let's just zoom zoom right on out and hang on. There's there's what we got so far. I'm, I'm going to keep that out of frame because as of the time I'm recording this, the vote hasn't been settled on whether or not Desert City stays. Because I'm filming this before I like the vote closes. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that setup. I... Oof, that train track going through the mountains is going to look wonderful when I'm done with it. Just you wait. Just you wait. Ah. This is wonderful. But yeah. Uh, end cards will be appearing in a moment. Click one of them to continue watching. I love all of it very much and ta-ta for now.